You have entered the infinite imaginarium. Douglas Rushkoff once wrote, When human beings acquire language, we learn not just how to listen, but how to speak. When we gain literacy, we learn not just how to read, but how to write. And as we move to an increasingly digital reality, we must learn not just how to use programs, but how to make them. In the emerging highly programmed landscape ahead, you will either create the software or you will be the software. Really, it's that simple. Program or be programmed. Choose the former and you gain access to the control panel of civilization. Choose the latter and it could be the last real choice you ever make. For a while, digital technologies are in many ways a natural outgrowth of what went before. They are also remarkably different. Computers and networks are more than mere tools. They are like living things themselves. Unlike a rake or a pen or even a jackhammer, a digital technology is programmed. This means it comes with instructions not just for its use, but for itself. And as such, technologies come to characterize the future of the way we live and work. The people programming them take on an increasingly important role in shaping our world and how it works. After that, it's the digital technologies themselves that will be shaping our world both with or without our explicit cooperation. This is why this moment matters. We are creating a blueprint together, a design for our, for our collective future. The possibilities of social, economic, practical, artistic, and even spiritual progress are tremendous. Just as words gave people the ability to pass on knowledge for what we call now civilization, network activities soon could offer us access to shared thinking, an extension of consciousness still inconceivable to most of us today. The operating principles of converse and culture, from supply and demand to command and control, could consider give way to an entirely more engaged, connected, and collaborative mode of participation. When the old story dies, there is a crisis. It is time for transformation. The death of the narrative brings confusion, chaos, and struggle. There are moments in consciousness when things become fluid, when patterns change. And in these moments, the ripples of even a single idea can make a huge difference change the whole wave of consciousness and evolve the reality. It's quite normal to fear what one most desires. We desire to transcend the story of the world that has come to enslave us and indeed is killing the planet. We fear what the end of the world will bring, the demise of much that is familiar. Fear it or not, it is happening already. How do we change the world? Change the story. Welcome to the Infinite Imaginarium. Love is the felt experience of connection to another being. The economist says, more for you is less for me, but the lover knows that the more of you is more for me. If you love someone, their happiness is your happiness. Their pain is your pain. Bliss's last kiss. Your sense of self expands to include the other being. Morphing and oscillating into you, this shift of consciousness is universal and in everyone. We are 
the expression of nature itself. Breathe in and breathe out. We are the expression of nature itself. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Bliss's last kiss. Your sense of self expands to include the other being, morphing and oscillating into you. This shift of consciousness is universal and in everyone. We are the expression of nature itself. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out.